This is Doge Kunova, product manager of ClickFX. ClickFX um, has a lot of different ways within which you can organize media. Um, as you may have seen in previous demo videos, we have buttons that we can place on these media pages, and which we've done here with a few of these. And these buttons could be anything from openers to sponsorships to prompts to um, graphics that you may want to show in between uh, the innings or the periods of the game. And on the left, we have all kinds of slots available that we can use to organize this. So when we go to organize our media, our assets, our media buttons, we go to a mode called organizer mode. And I can do that by either going to the menu or hitting control O. That switches the system over into a organization mode. And I can now organize my media according to how I would like to play it back. And perhaps I just have a few clips like I have here. And I'm going to lay that out on this one page according chronologically according to how I'm going to play this back in my event. So I've added an opening clip, I've added some clips in between, a sponsorship clip, and all the way at the bottom, I may have some recap clips. So now I may be set up for my event. I play my opener clip, and I may interrupt that with, at some point with a sponsorship video. Uh, I may switch over from that sponsorship that may rotate for a while. I may switch over to an, a crowd prompt, or I could show the sponsorship logo again, if I want to go back to it, and that could be a playlist, could be anything at that point that rotates through a number of sponsors. And maybe now I've reached halftime and I want to show some matchups and some stats for the game that's going on. So a lot of different ways within which you can do this, even on a single page, if you just have a few pieces of content. Now, as I mentioned before, we have slots on the left here, and these are called pages. My first page here, maybe I want to separate it out now and I want to put my content on an individual page based on the uh, event of the game. So we have a pre-game page. We're building a page for the first period. We're going to build a page here for halftime and then maybe another page for uh, just our sponsors. We may want to organize those because we may have quite a few of them. And then we can also set the color. And This is just a, a visual indicator of how you can help people find and navigate through the system. So perhaps pre-game's red, first period has its own color green, so we can find that easily. We have to switch back and forth, because during a game, during an event, you may be switching back and forth quickly, and sometimes the color is an easy way to find something. So we're going to switch back to organizer mode again, and now we're going to take the first clip and leave it on this first page, because we've named it pre-game, and our opener clip is that first clip that we want to show during pre-game and take the rest of the clips and assign them to the pages that they need to be on. So what I did is I just picked it up and I, I dropped it on top of the page. For instance, I pick it up this one and I'm dropping it on top of the first period, picking up the sponsor, dropping it on top of the sponsors button. Um, and so now I'm on my way uh, creating pages for each clip based on when they need to be played during an event. This could be during a game, obviously this is kind of tailored to a sports event, but it could be any type of event and you can really make use of these pages to separate your content and lay, lay it out chronologically or lay it out according to the events of the game or the event. So here we are, we've got our pregame clip playing. Uh, we're gonna switch over and the first period starts, as soon as it starts, we're gonna switch over to a scoreboard look and uh, we may interrupt that with a crowd prompt. If something happens during the game, we want to respond to it quickly, quick and easy access, switch back to the first page, go back to our default look, and perhaps we've just reached halftime. Half we're going to call up that halftime clip that shows the comparison. And again, as we step through this, you can easily see how this can be used during an event to control somewhat of a, a rundown, if you will. So different from broadcast, and broadcast is very much more scripted than during games and the, the events that ClickFX Prime is typically used for. And so this is a nice and easy way for quick and easy access to any piece of content from anywhere. Plus we can add more on these banks and pages on the left if we need to.